do need that edge guard, and I think you should take me seriously. Because look at the scoreboard yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. I got numbers on oh. the. Oh. Yo, did he just walk up slowly and <laughs> down smash? He did. He really did, though. Oh. It can be pretty difficult to smoothly do a walk out of a dash. You have to reset the left stick and then tilt it forward gently so you don't do another dash. Ultimate's dash cancel system really helps in this regard, letting you do just about any option out of a dash. But sometimes there are benefits to just walking, and there is a way to go from a dash to a walk smoothly without any issue. It's called dash walking. Just dash forward, then flick up, down, or back on the C stick right after. If you flick forward, you'll do a dash attack. If you flick up with smash stick on, you'll do an up smash. If you flick any direction too late, you'll do a buffered attack. Walking by itself can be too slow, while dashing and running could make you overshoot your distance and let the opponent hit you more easily. Dash walking is a nice middle ground which can open up new options in various situations. For instance, you can dash walk and then quickly do a standing grab, which has less hand lag than a dash grab. You can also dash walk to gain extra distance that will let your attacks reach the opponent when they wouldn't otherwise. Some characters gain extra distance from their dash walk by sliding forward, which can help with safely gaining distance towards or away from the opponent.